Calling all heroes. Come in, heroes. This is the command center. Upstreet Online is calling all heroes. Come in, heroes. This is Command Central. Hey, friends. Thanks for assembling today. My name is Ashley. Welcome to Heroes Command Central and to another epic summer day on Upstreet, learning how to tap into the power God gives us so we can be the heroes God knows we can be. Today, we're training on confidence. Every hero needs it and every hero has it. But where does that confidence come from? That's what we're looking into right now. Our three hero recruits, Violet, Edge, and Rocket, are giving us some great stories of how we can use these superpowers every day. So let's see where we find our heroes this time. Hey everyone, let me introduce myself. My name is Violet. I'm just your average girl. I love to be outside. I enjoy reading as much as a great movie. And I'm pretty sure I'm tougher than my two best friends, Edge and Rocket. Oh yeah, and that's Rocket's dog, Astro. We never go anywhere without him. I'm pretty much just like you. Except for one little thing. Sometimes when my friends and I are in difficult situations, we sort of turn into… heroes. We don't know how it happens, but when we're faced with tough choices, we have these awesome watches that tell us exactly what we need. And then, all of a sudden, we know what to do. It's kinda awesome! Let me tell you about this one time. We were a few weeks into summer break, and life was awesome. Rocket and Edge and I were hanging out almost every day with everybody else in the neighborhood. We would have massive games of capture the flag. I got it! I got it! Huge pool parties. And movie nights at friends' houses where we would stuff ourselves with pizza. Ooh, hand me another slice! Needless to say, summer break was going great. But one morning, my parents hit me with what I thought was the worst news. Summer camp. Don't forget you're leaving for camp this weekend, Violet. A camp that I had totally forgotten about. A camp that I had never been to. I loved going to camps where I would have friends, but this camp was new. And I would be on my own. That night, everyone in the neighborhood was playing kickball. I went, but I didn't really feel like playing. You're up, Violet. No thanks! What? You love kickball! Rocket and Edge could see that something was bothering me, and when we were walking home, they asked me about it. What's wrong, Violet? Everything okay? I told them everything I was thinking about this new camp. How it probably wasn't going to be fun. How I wouldn't know anyone. It's going to be terrible, you guys. I'll probably have to eat every meal by myself. And then, finally, my big confession. I think I'm just scared to go. As soon as the words came out of my mouth, my watch started vibrating. I didn't know how my watch could help me in this situation. I thought maybe it was broken. I tried to shut it down, but the beeping and shaking just got louder. Suddenly, my watch went off like a firework and a huge fist came down and pounded the street. I was so shocked, I fell backward. I couldn't even see Rocket and Edge, the light was so bright. I felt like I was left alone. This is exactly how camp would feel. What's up, heroes? I'm Chad. And have you ever gone somewhere new like Violet? Or maybe you faced something really scary and wondered, how am I gonna get through this? Well, me too. We all find ourselves stuck in situations from time to time where we feel afraid. And Daniel sure did. And you can read all about what happened to him right here in the Bible right here in the book of Daniel. You see, Daniel lived in a country where King Darius was in charge far, far away. And that king had three guys that helped him run the entire country. Well, Daniel was one of them. And Daniel did such a good job that King Darius decided to place him in charge of the entire kingdom, second to only king himself. Now, as you can probably imagine, this made the other two guys really mad. They didn't want to report to Daniel. So these two guys, they came up with the plan to get rid of Daniel for good. They knew that Daniel prayed to God faithfully three times a day, and that gave them an idea. 
They convinced the king to make a new law that said that you could only pray to King Darius and no one else. And King Darius agreed. The law said anyone who prays to any god or human being during the next 30 days except to you, your majesty, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Hold up, lion's den? So if you prayed to anyone other than the king, you were headed into a dark, scary pit of hungry lions. These guys knew that Daniel wouldn't stop praying to God and he was gonna end up in the lion's den, which would mean, bye bye Daniel. What do you think Daniel did when he heard about the new law? Do you think he changed his praying habits? Well, check this out. Daniel went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened. Three times a day, he got on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. And guess who was watching and went straight to King Darius? You guessed it, Daniel's enemies. The king never wanted to harm Daniel, but he couldn't change the new law. So as the sun set, King Darius had Daniel thrown into the lion's den. And as the king sent Daniel away, he hoped Daniel's God would rescue him and save him. Yikes, I would not want to be alone in a den full of huge, hungry lions. I mean, have you ever heard them roar? Did you know that a lion's roar can be heard from five miles away? Whoa, right? And lions are fast. They can run up to 55 miles per hour. That's as fast as your parents drive on the highway. Lions can also leap up to 36 feet. That's like the length of an entire school bus. And lions also have amazing vision. In fact, their eyes are six times more sensitive to light than our human eyes, making them better suited to see in the dark. So even if Daniel couldn't see those lions clearly in the den, they could certainly see him. Lions have powerful bites. Have you ever been bitten by your sister or brother? Yeah, if you think Charlie's bite was bad, a lion's bite is four times stronger than a human's. Lions are big. The average male lion can weigh up to 420 pounds. 420 pounds is like five fifth graders. So that's what Daniel was facing. All alone, in a den full of hungry lions, Daniel waited for what would happen next. And I'm sure he was afraid, but deep down, Daniel had the confidence to face the situation. This confidence came from God. He had followed God for years and God showed Daniel that he was always with him and was going to take care of him. This time would be no different. So he waited for whatever came next. The king was worried after throwing his friend into the lion's den, he, he wasn't able to eat or sleep. But the next morning, King Darius opened the den and called out to Daniel. And guess what? Daniel was still alive. This was a total hero moment. Daniel called back to the king and he said, I'm here, I'm here. God closed the mouth of the lions. I am completely fine. Sure enough, when the king brought Daniel out of the lion's den, he didn't have a scratch on him. Seeing how God saved Daniel, the king made a new law. Everyone in the kingdom had to worship Daniel's God, the one true God. Daniel wasn't confident that he was gonna survive the lion's den, but he was confident that no matter what might happen, he could always count on God. And that's what a true hero does. Violet is nervous about the new camp. She's afraid that she's not gonna make any friends or have a good time. Maybe you felt alone like Violet too. You could find yourself at a sleepover and everyone wants to watch something that you know that you're not supposed to watch. You're scared to speak up and say that you can't watch it. But guess what? Even at a sleepover, you can always count on God. Be confident. You can have that same confidence like Daniel did. And how can you tap into that confidence? The same way Daniel did. You pray. Pray and let God know that you trust in him. Be confident that God is with you no matter what happens. God is with you and he will always take care of you. You can always count on God. Be confident. To count on God means that you can depend on him. You can trust him always. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for the example of Daniel. 
Thank you for showing us that you are with him and you promise to be with us. Help us to remember that we can always have confidence in you. Amen. We left Violet in a really interesting place. How exactly was her watch gonna help her with summer camp? But maybe hearing about the confidence of Daniel will help her out. Let's see what happens. Be confident? Uh, I don't think that's what I need. This watch got it wrong. I don't think the watch ever gets it wrong, Violet. How is confidence going to help me at camp? Sometimes, Violet, we need to be confident even when we're afraid to do something. Oh, like go to camp? Yeah, you got this. It'll be easy. And God is always with us. He can help you be confident. Are you feeling a little better about camp? I am. I think it'll be a fun week. And maybe a new camp will bring a little adventure. Awesome! Hey, maybe you can bring us back something. The last camp I went to, the only thing I brought back was poison ivy. On second thought, never mind. I'm good. Where you are is where I want to be. You have shown me. Singing up, never get tired. 